Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from this beautiful world. Um, so I got I got a package that I got from my bonus from work um, from Spike. So I upgraded from my 15 gallon boiler pot to a 20 gallon boiler pot on legs. And it has a bottom drain to get all the stuff out from the bottom. And then uh, the top drain to get all the stuff that I want into the fermenter. Um, so this is a really cool thing. It also comes with, a con I bought a condensation lid for it so I don't need my range hood anymore. So that's a good thing. I'm still gonna have it in here just because it's good to have air coming in here and let me breathe. But um, this is a little unboxing of that. So we're gonna see the condensation lid and we're gonna open up the 20 gallon pot and see if it fits in here. Uh, if not, I'll have to do some uh, rearranging. I took my 15 gallon one out already, so I can put it up, uh, so I can put it up here. Um, so we'll uh, show you the box. That's the box. And then the other box in the back is the condensation lid. So let's go ahead and open it up. My big belly in the fucking way. Um, So exciting. I was so excited to get this. I cannot believe, I'm so glad, unlike my eyeglasses I've been waiting on forever because they keep getting lost in the mail, I'm so glad FedEx is good at getting stuff to me. So I'm already really sweaty because I just took a shower. Good Lord. So let me get over here. I'll just kind of put it there. So, <laughs> shit's in the fucking way, but I can't help it. All right, so go ahead and uh, let me get that. There we go. So we have the lid, and what it is is a CI. It's a CIP lid. Hey, it's you. Uh, it's a CIP lid. So basically, a ball will come down, will drop into the top of this. It's like a CIP ball lid. I bought it extra, it was like an extra, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks. But see how that is? You uh, put it on a TC clamp, it has a little ball thing that comes down and it goes and sprays your system once you drain it all out. So that was an extra goodie that I bought. I can use it on, I can use it on all these pots. They're all 20 gallons, so they'll fit. Um, didn't have to buy one for each one. Whoa. Ah, Jesus. Alright, so I left all my parts out because I was going to put them on the 20 anyway. So here it is. This is very easy to take apart. You just take the plastic out. And there's the bottom drain. This is nice. Uh, as you can see, it's got the bottom drain hole. Let's pick it up. I just wanted to show that first, so let's go ahead and before I start making y'all dizzy, put that there for a moment, and we're going to pick it up, and we're going to put it up here. So I still have to put the bottom leg pieces on, it's the same, ins and outs, has a uh, temperature port on the other side. Temperature port and the uh, element right there. So the lid will go up on top, up on top here. Oh, I'm hot. It's really hot in here. Let's go ahead and pull these out. So I got some extra little things, and plus these are probably the legs. So we'll go ahead and open, open that up. Mm. Okay. So that 
comes with all the all the little rubber wheel things. I'll put those on in a little bit. It uh, comes with the bottom uh, arm. It goes underneath, and then you uh, let that spit out into a bucket or however the hell you gotta do it. And uh, and then I got a uh, siphon. Um, that goes in right here, I believe. Yeah, so it's just deep enough to get the stuff on top. It goes down. You can spin it anywhere you want, loosen it up and spin it just to get what you want out. But it's got plenty of room underneath to get all the bad shit out. And what's cool about this is I can uh, now just, I don't have to use a hop spider. I can just go and put my hops directly into the boil pot. Totally, totally professional for the home brewer. Um, very cool. So go ahead and do that. I'll put these on in a bit. This box is huge, very, 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 very huge. So, I don't know where to put this to be honest at the moment, so I'm just gonna kinda stick it up here. I hope I don't kill anything. Oh God, I got my glasses. All right, there, we'll just do that for now. Now. The condensation lid. Let's go ahead and get this over here. Condensation lid is a lid that basically turns the steam that comes out of the pot, it turns it into like a, well, the, the, all the humidity and the the hot water and steam and stuff, I guess, comes out. It compresses it and puts it into a bucket. And you, so, and you're not going to get like dias, diacetyl or, or uh, acetaldehyde or any off flavors um, because there, you would think that you would think that uh, you have to wear, uh, have the lid off. But for this particular thing, you don't have to have the lid off. You just open the hopper and throw your hops in and then close it back up, kind of like a, a mini professional uh, out the system. This is definitely for the more advanced brewer, for sure. I wouldn't say just go out and get this. Uh, I've been brewing a long time, so not since 2007, to be honest. But uh, I took about a six year break, so. Um, so it comes with all the tubing. There's all the ports that all the things will go on. This is the uh, the manhole, or the manhole, the, uh, <laughs> the hop hole. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this over the top. And I'll show you what that looks like after. So it comes with the big tube to go on to the, um, uh, one of the parts that it comes with. This is also another tube that probably takes the steam and puts it into the bucket, I'm, su I'm assuming. I'd have to like see how it works, how can I get it? But here's the parts. Um, so it comes with a bunch of gaskets. Also comes with TC clamps, all the TC clamps that you need. Um, comes with the uh, another lid, one of those close-up lids. If you want to close a port. Comes with uh, this is a part that will go onto this arm here, which will uh, go on top of that thing there, um, that pot. I'm gonna use this, I think, on this this Thursday. Um, or when I brew my NEPA. So we'll see how it all works. I may not brew till next Thursday. 
That was another part. Okay, so this is the pump. Pump that pump. You put the put it into a bucket or a, a, like a bucket or a reservoir, and it'll pump the water. I believe into the arm, and then it steams it out. And I don't know how that works. Like the steam from the pot when you're boiling goes into it, and then it pumps water in through the tubing, and then turns it into like a steam or condens condenses it, um, and then puts it into a bucket, and then you just throw it out every so often. Um, you, you can get the full setup, um, comes with the uh, power, I don't know, forgive me if I'm explaining this wrong or whatever, I just haven't used it, so I've seen how it works though, I just want to make sure there's nothing else, nope, that's it, so that's that for that. Um, and. Uh, All right, so this is kind of a long one. Um, I'm so hot right now. But you can see, before it just sits right over the top. That's it. Um, I believe, either goes there or there. I'm not. All right, so as you can see, I got the condensation lid all put together. There's a plastic lid I didn't see before almost threw it out um, but there's things inside the packaging if you get one of these so lift up that foam and you'll see stuff in there but all this is uh, so the long tube drips down into a bucket this I'm not sure exactly what this is for it's a big old fat one inch hose and then inside this right here there's a little um, small like pinhole jet kind of fitting that you have to screw in. And that's what I think condenses it into the steam that drips out into the bucket. So when you open up, when you need to put hops in, you open this up, put your hops in, close it back up. Um, and then right here is a cap, but when you're not using the CIP valve, a ball. But when you're using the CIP ball, that's where that goes and it sprays, it sprays down sprays down inside and cleans it out so this is cool here's the bottom the bottom drain goes up underneath and connects and then basically when you want to drop everything out you first you'll get the top stuff so it doesn't you want to do a whirlpool and kind of collect it all so it goes to the bottom then you'll go ahead and open it up and let it all out shout shout let it all out and then um that's when you put your cip ball in hook it all up put some pbw and hot water in there and spray it and clean it but that's that that's the cip ball um it just lifts right off it's kind of heavy but or not cip ball that's the uh, condensation lid and the 20 gallon bottom drain on legs um the next thing i'm gonna do is get uh, next year probably yeah it'll be next year I'll get the uh, mash ton um, and that'll be on legs and uh, I'll be a bottom drain as well but it'll also have a manhole thing a man thing like a door you open and you scoop it all out and it's just so much easier and it's uh come on man you got a little cash spend it on something nice you know what I'm saying that's that so look out for uh Next brew day coming soon. I don't know if this Thursday or next Thursday, but it might be a live, so we'll see. I'm doing a double New England IPA. The uh, other one's in the fermenter right now. The chiller is working beautifully. It's at 33 right now. We're set. I keep knocking the temp down uh, about three degrees every day till we get to about 40 or so, 38, 40. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in. I already dropped every, all the yeast out of the bottom there and then I'm in secondary right now so I put the uh, vanilla in put about an ounce and a half of vanilla that my wife made she's had it going for about a year and a half it's really strong um, Ugandan vanilla beans she has like a vanilla Facebook uh, channel page she goes to and gets all her vanilla beans and stuff but 
yeah but it, i mean this is really nice too it's a really nice chiller the first one didn't work it got banged up in shipping but this one they they made sure it was nice and good spike will take care of you i promise good stuff fuck yeah thank you spike cheers you guys have a good night day wherever you're from this beautiful world and i don't have one more last sip but i'm gonna get one now cheers <laughs>